Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. It is now time for our full circle where we like to discuss a subject that is uh, important to us and hopefully meaningful to you. And recently, <laughs> blogger Becca Poutney detailed in a Huffington Post article why she and her husband chose to wait until after marriage to live together and why it was the better decision for them. Mm. So, of course, we pose the question to our amazing panel and to you. Do you think Becca's right or is that an old-fashioned way of thinking? Hmm. I can talk about my experience. Go ahead, yeah. girl. I did not live with Smitty before we got married. We did. Mm. We uh, moved. Uh, my brother and I were living together in an apartment. He got a house, and then you know I was engaged. So maybe about maybe two weeks, but that doesn't really. That's not really officially living with someone. And maybe it was old school. Um, my my parents. Uh, and his parents are right around the same age mm -hmm. and kind of how I was raised is that you just, you don't shack up uh, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> before marriage. And so I just believe that. Mm -hmm. And uh, thankfully, he was a clean boy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, he liked to clean up. Uh, the boy could cook when you want him to. Right. You know? And uh, he, he was, it, it didn't, like his things or what people, his idiosyncrasies and all that kind of mm -hmm. stuff, I, it didn't really, we, 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 we gelled well together. That right. was for Good. me. And that's what I still believe in, you know. Down the line, if, if Carter and Bailey want to get married and do that, that type of life, have that typical life or whatever, uh, I, would, I would like for them not to move in with their potential spouse or partner prior to them making it official. That is mm. just me. Well, um, personally, I feel like either way is fine. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's your per personal preference. Um, I think re religious based, yeah, you're supposed to quote unquote wait until you're married. Um, but and I think both ways can work really well. Um, Kiwan and I did live together okay. um, because he was overseas most of the time. So when I flew over there, I was with him. It was just easier. He was never really in America. Okay. So when he came home, it was just easier to just be with me, yeah, yeah. you know. But then a year after that, um, he proposed. So. I was right. still never really with, you know, we were still yeah. never really living unless I went to go visit. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, but we moved into our, our home, home, the home we built from the ground together. Okay. That was our first time living, you know, in a, well, getting our own home together because he moved into my town home okay. at the time. But, you know, I just really feel like <clears throat> you're never really going to know somebody. Right. Absolutely. Either way it goes. Like, you can do all the right stuff, all, all the way by the book. You can marry somebody in three years, and then you get the baby, and then, right. then we have babies after a year. and you, you can do all that, or you can meet somebody tomorrow, go down to the Vegas, marry him, and still be married 20 years, years later. later. Right. Very so right. So you just, yes. you just never know. I, I think, just my personal opinion, I think it's preface, I mean, your preference based. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and I think either way works. Yeah. You know, but, but both parties have to be willing to know, I mean, willing to know and love each other and stick regardless of what they discover mm -hmm. once about they're... About themselves. Yeah, yeah. about person. themselves and the other person. Yeah. Now listen. Uh oh. Uh oh. Sometimes <laughs> you can get with the people. Right. <laughs> and you move too fast, you get in the house, you get to living with each other, you understand. Mm -hmm. And uh, you see some things that, you know, you just might not make it to the finish line. Mm -hmm. You just not, you might not, you know, get married because mm -hmm. the person may be nasty, messy, mm -hmm. you know, they may have, uh, you know, they, they don't take care of business, they mm -hmm. don't take care of the bills properly, you know, you may, you, you it gives you an opportunity now mm -hmm. to learn a lot about the individual. Mm -hmm. However, it also opens you up to possibly not making it down the aisle. Sure. Mm -hmm. Which is not a bad thing. Right. right. No, it's not. It could it's be not. a good teaching tool. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, I was in a long-term relationship, and I, he and I did live together. Okay. Um, we were in college. I had my own separate place. He had his separate place. But most of the time, he ended up at my place, you know, because I, you it know, nice, it was right? nice. It was cozy. My, I, my people made sure I had good things and food all the time. You right. know what I mean? Water was always on. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, but then when we, when, when we graduated, and then I bought my own home, and we, we lived together um, I felt like it kind of hindered him a little bit in certain mm -hmm. aspects of him being mm -hmm. a man um, I feel like um, I'm with you Selena I think that for everyone it's, a, it's it just works however whatever your preference is some people may feel like um, the, the godly way the biblical way yeah. is not to live with him I think I would do it differently this time okay. yeah. I believe that I will not stay with my husband, whoever he is, <laughs> Chad would call me. But here's the thing, I, um, I, ask, I think that is you need time to like get to know each other outside of the house. Mm. Um, and you know, you do learn a lot of things when you are living with that person, but yeah. I, I've done it that way before yeah. and I'm trying to do things differently well, this let, time. Let me ask you a question, Kiana. So 
So you, when you bought, you the one that bought your yes. house, and then he kind of moved in with you. Yes. Do you think that if he was the one that bought the house and you moved in That's with good. him, That's that it might have been different. Different. different? Quite possibly, yeah. but uh, um, I'm you know, trying to that kind of. I'm trying not to slam the man. Right, right. right. Um, we don't know his okay. name. If people are young; they change. Girl, it's not a big deal. His financial footing wasn't proper. Like I was always um, reared to. You grow, you graduate from college, you buy a home, you only rent for a little while. There's no reason to pay anybody else's mortgage. That's so true. when you're able, go buy a house. I bought my first house at 24. That's good. So yeah. So my thing was, young. it was like I, we had our separate apartments mm -hmm. there. But absolutely, I think that it may have been different. But he wasn't ready. Mm -hmm. And I am, I'm an advocate, ladies. If you, if he's not ready, don't wait. You still need to build your financial future and your fina financial yeah, foundation yeah. by yeah. having your own. And yeah. then when you have a husband, he come through, he pull up. Y'all can. That's rental property. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It looks like we're just saying it. Do what you do. Yeah. And whatever works for you, you know. Because it all works. Because it, it all works. Or work. it all won't. Right. It, it, yeah. You can do the whole waiting and then get in and be like, oh, oh no. Right. 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 Yeah. And yeah. then move in and be like, Ugh. Exactly. <laughs> so we want to like hear the what way he uh, chews. Right. 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 <laughs> oh. Smacking like, on ice. Really? Right. Uh, Why you got to keep breathing? <laughs> Right. <laughs> we want to hear what you say. Tweet us, please, at Sister Circle TV, and we'll see what you have to say a little bit later on in the show.